Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nunker. Um, today, what I'm going to be doing is the first um, video of what I call I call Nunker MMA. Um, I'm going to be posting one of these every week, um, and it's what I'm going to talk about all the big things that happened during that week in uh, in the MMA world. Like, uh, you know, whatever, just whatever I want to talk about, I'll talk about that for about nine minutes eight minutes um so this will be my first video remember it's called nunker mma it'll be on my youtube account every every week new one and so thank you to my subscribers um also thank you to uh poop head shout out poop head 2011 sorry if i didn't get that right but thank you for cuz uh you told me about that MMA playground thing. I actually got an account. Uh so that's pretty cool. Thank you. Um and I think that's it. All right, so subscribe, comment, comment please. So we're going to start. Oh, by the way, I got I got my my Affliction shirt from Atlantic City. It's Quentin. Yep, that's Quentin right there. Um yeah, I had a Sean Shirk one, but I got the Quentin one in Atlantic City. Um, so that's good. I'll be rooting for Quentin against Forrest. So I'll wear that during this fight. All right, so now, first topic of the week. I want to talk about Drew Fickett. Um, now, I think it's getting kind of ridiculous already about how he, uh, how he always has to back, like, not back down exactly, just like uh, he has to he has to uh, delay his fight, if you will. Um, for example, Drew Fickett uh, uh, Jake, against Jake Shields, I think the first time he got injured, and the second time Shields got injured, and then he was supposed to fight um, Ryan Ford, I believe, what, um, not long ago, but... And he had to back withdraw from that fight as well. Um, I think Drew Fickett is uh, is losing some fans by doing this. Yeah, you might disagree, but I think I used to like Drew Fickett, you know. Uh, but it's starting to really bother me how every fight I'm getting pumped up. Oh, he's fighting Jake Shields. He's fighting Ryan Ford. He's a pretty good fighter himself. And uh, every time he ends up not fighting and it's disappointing right so you can't even count on him anymore and he's not being loyal i think although he does get injured sometimes i mean you can't do anything about that just i don't know i just want to talk about that a little bit um so hopefully we'll see him fight shields or ford in the near future all right next topic antonio bigfoot silva versus justin eilers uh is probably going to be for the Elite XC heavyweight first heavyweight title ever. Um, all right, Justin Eilers. I don't see why he's getting a title shot before Brett Rogers or uh, Brett Rogers or it's probably other guys I can't think of right now. I'm sorry, Kimbo Slice. I don't think he deserves it, but you know, there's Brett Rogers. There's a uh, no, I can't even think right now. But Antonio Bigfoot Silva definitely deserves it. Um, but I still think that uh, Justin Eilers isn't that worthy yet of a title shot. I think I don't think it's a great first uh, heavyweight title fight. So I would definitely like to see Rogers fight for that title. I think he deserves it more. And uh, I know that I like Rogers. I think he's a decent fighter, you know, decent fighter for Elite XC, better than Eilers, put it that way, and I think he'd give Silva, Antonio Silva, a much better fight than Justin Eilers will, so I'm just really disappointed in that, I was looking forward to seeing Rogers get a title shot, but I guess he'll be fighting Kimbo Slice, if Gary Shaw sucks it up and lets Kimbo have a decent fight, uh, fight already. Stops protecting him, you know. Um, okay, next next topic I want to talk about is um, 
the UFC video game. We all know about it. You know, we all saw the uh, the previews on YouTube on MMA Junkie, Sure Dog, whatever. Um, and it looks really good. And they're putting out these previews that that are really getting everybody so hyped for it and and stuff. You know, they're showing gameplay. It's supposed to be actual gameplay footage, from what I've read, and uh, I also, also, um, well, I don't know them, but I've read comments on that when people said that they played, uh, they played like demos of the game. I don't know how you do that, but that's what I heard. Some people did play demos of the game. So anyway, it looks great. Um, but what I don't like about this is that they're putting all these great previews out and all these uh all of these teasers and it comes out in in uh what was it May 2009 or something it's ridiculous I, I got so hyped up pumped up for it like yeah I can't wait I got a PS3 so but then they say it comes out May 2009 then you're just like oh you know so that that uh that disappointed me, and uh, I don't like that Dana's doing that, getting everybody pumped up for it. Dana White did say, in quotes, that he couldn't be happier with the new UFC video game. Then again, what's he gonna say? That it's it's terrible, it's bad, but um, it's, you know it's probably good. I mean, the only thing I didn't like about it in the trailer was uh was that they look, kind of looked like rock and sock em robots. Like they stand in front of each other and just uh, brought, slugged it. Not, not really like that. Just like the punching didn't look as uh, smooth as like fighting it around three, something like that. Kind of looked a little bit uh, more rough. So I think they'll fix that though, so, you know, considering that comes out in uh, May 2009. They still have a while to fix all those flaws, and I'm sure when it comes out, It'll be a lot better. So I just want to talk about the UFC video game. All right. Um, next thing I want to talk about is um, one minute. I'm sorry. Page is closed. Uh, one minute. One minute. All right. Well, anyway, in the meantime, I guess I'll uh, I'll tell you about all right I'm sorry I'm sorry for that I want to talk about uh, Chuck Liddell versus Rashad Evans um all right so Rashad Evans I don't see why he deserves the next title shot um, and I think he's very overrated by the way he kept, went to a draw with a out of his prime Tito Ortiz Tito dominated Ortiz um, he went to split decision with Bisping, split decision with Brandon Lee Hinkle. Um, um, sorry, he knocked out Jason Lambert, I think, and Sean Salmon. But those guys aren't starting top competition. I think he's very overrated, and I don't see why he's fighting Chuck Liddell. Why don't they don't put Liddell versus Shogun Hua or Liddell versus uh, Liddell versus Silva too? Even you know, I'd like, I'd love to see that. Del Silva too. Um, uh, Liddell versus Jardine too. Even uh, Liddell Machida. Liddell, not yeah. But there's there's plenty of fights, and out of all fights, Evans versus Liddell. I think they're trying to to um, protect Liddell, and I, I don't see why Evans deserves a fight with Liddell yet. Maybe Thiago Silva. That would have been a good fight. Maybe even Leo Tomachita, but not Chuck Liddell yet. And I think it. Uh, I was kind of confused by this why why they made that fight. So leave a comment, tell me your thoughts on that. But uh, I think they're trying to get Liddell to move up there and then fight Quentin again, which I don't see any point in. That he says he wants to fight Quentin again when he got knocked out the second time even faster. He said he just thinks he deserves the next title shot if he beats Evans, but. Let's face it, he does it. If they give it to him, it's, uh, that's bull. Because he doesn't deserve it yet. Although, I think I love Chuck Liddell. I read his biography, too. Autobiography. All right, so anyway, I got to go. I'm about to expire on the YouTube thing, so comment. Watch my next Nunker MMA next time. I'll improve on this, because I know this one might have been boring. See you, bye.